Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper, and this is a PRC-351 uh, military man pack. Can this radio make a contact from France to England on 4 watts? Well, if you have a good antenna and a bit of height, uh, you just might. Before anything else, I would like to thank all my Patreon subscribers. Without you guys, I simply would not have been able to buy the gas uh, to go to the coast and back. So, thank you very much. You know who you are and you're awesome. Now, if you would like to uh, participate and help out this channel, please go to the uh, patreon.com link uh, down below in the description. Uh, everything helps. Thank you very much. I'm going back to the coast. The last time I had forgotten my uh, UHF antenna. So uh, I had my uh, PRC-352, which I've got in the trunk. It is actually the third time I go to the uh, Cap Blanc But I really like that place because, of course, it's at 140 meters above sea level. And when you use VHF and UHF, height is probably the most important factor as far as range is concerned. You know, communications between uh, France and England were very important during World War II and that's the last uh, big crisis that we had here but I bet if there was another one it would be just as important and we see England I can see the coast from here already it's a very nice day very clear so that's not a problem it would be to find a parking spot I'm going to set up the uh, Chameleon Hybrid Micro here with the whip and of course the uh, PRC352 with the 20 watt amplifier. Of course I knew I had to forget something and I didn't bring my tuner. So no amplifier, I'm not going to risk it, but I can actually use the, uh, well it's going to be the PRC351 with a surf unit which will be used as a tuner, because it is a tuner. And uh, that should work, but I will have only uh, 4 watts output. Okay, we're going to tune this thing right now, and uh, so I'm just going to use the little wheel here on top and tune for a maximum deflection and it's pretty good golf for mike hotel uniform uh, yes i do copy you very good signal here on the french coast over Roger that, uh, thank you very much. Uh, definitely it's a great day here too. And I can see the coast, uh, the cliffs of Dover, and it's, uh, it's amazing. 
very sunny and, uh, and very clear. I'm, a, I'm amazed we are making contact here because it's quite a good distance and uh, I'm using only 4 watts uh, uh, with the PRC351 here. My antenna is a Chameleon uh, MPAS uh, hybrid micro with a whip which is about 3.2-3.3 uh, meters long here with a ground spike. So uh, it, 4 watts, uh, yeah, it's working really well. <laughs> I'm absolutely amazed. Over. Sure, Peter. Uh, my name is Gilles. It's spelled uh, Golf India Lima. Golf India Lima. And my call sign again where you have it. It's for uh, Foxtrot 4 Whiskey. Bravo. Yankee, back to you. Yes, uh, Golf India Lima. What that is, I, 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 I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to re reassess my um, yeah, signal. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Yeah, that's correct, Peter. It's uh, three letters, Golf India Lima, and it's not short for anything. Uh, that's just the way it is. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I did look uh, the location of Margate uh, on the map when I was uh, looking up the repeaters for UHF, and uh, that was uh, on the tip there, on the yeah north of Dover. I saw that. I'm not quite sure how many kilometers it is from here. I'm, it's probably not that far, but. Uh, you know, it's it's on four watts. Uh, that's uh, it's very good. Uh, very happy to uh, to make contact here. Over. Thank you. 
Well, I was uh, trying to find anyone, really, Peter, uh, especially on uh, 6 meter FM. I knew that, uh, you know, UHF on the repeaters with my portable Yagi would probably work, and I wasn't really worried about that. Uh, I was hoping to really make contact, uh, you know, on 6 meter FM because it's just, uh, I don't very, uh, I don't get very many opportunities to use my PRC351. And uh, actually, uh, I had the amplifier, there is a 20 watt amplifier that goes with it, makes it a PRC352, but uh, I forgot my tuner, so <laughs> I couldn't use it, and uh, which forced me to, uh, to use the PRC351 as is on 4 watts. So, but I was hoping to get anyone really on 6 meter FM, and uh, uh, I just think there's just aren't enough people using those old radios, you know, British mind pack radios. And uh, I wish there was more people in the region here that uh, who use them. Uh, but uh, hey, you know, maybe I'll start a trend. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Foxtrot for whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Back to you, Peter. Roger that. Unfortunately, the, the PRC351 has uh, 25 kilohertz steps, so uh, I, I just can't go on 51.51. Uh, uh, I can only do, uh, you know, 24, 25 kilohertz steps. So the closest I, uh, I can come to, of course, is 51.1. Over. Well, thanks again, Peter. I, I really appreciate you taking the time to uh, to call me here on uh, on Six Meter FM. Uh, yeah, if anybody else is listening, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, uh, someone saw the a signal on their uh, on their screen or something. Uh, uh, hopefully, I'll make a couple more contacts here on Six Meter FM. I'm going to try again on the uh, on the repeaters here. I programmed a few repeaters, a couple of them near London, and it's a bit far though. I don't think I would get, uh, you know, I would reach as far as that, but, you know, uh, I can always try and see what happens. And then I'll probably go back to uh, Hastings. I connected to the Hastings repeater and got a few contacts there. So uh, all in all, a very good afternoon, I have to say. Uh, great, nice, sunny day and, uh, you know, radio operations. You can't ask for much more than that. Over. I didn't try the Dover repeater, I think probably because I searched for uh, 70 centimeter UHF repeaters because I have my UHF portable uh, Yagi antenna here, so I was planning on using that. But I'm sure uh, I could reach easily reach Dover from here with uh, my little uh, rubber ducky antenna because I can see the cliffs so, uh, from here, so that's, uh, that wouldn't be a problem, I'm sure. Over.
Thank you very much, Peter, and uh, you have a great day, and hopefully we'll uh, make contact again. 73, Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, over. As you can see, the PRC351 is no sloth when it comes to range. And I was actually uh, pleasantly surprised. And the fact that I had forgotten my amplifier uh, was actually a blessing because otherwise I wouldn't have tried uh, the four watts over the channel. But it worked great, so hey, you know. A resonant antenna probably would have worked even better. But you know, Chameleon, uh, again, uh, also is a very good performer and uh, I guess uh, about 3.3 meters is the right uh, length and uh, the surf unit also was a good advantage there because uh, it allowed me to tune the antenna and that results in better performance also. So I guess in the future I won't be so quick to uh, you know, take my amplifier with me and this is a bit heavy also. Uh, now the PRC351 is a bit heavy, I mean the battery especially is, but as you can see it's fairly compact. So you know, it's, it's a good piece of kit I have to say, I mean I'm getting to like it more and more. Have a good one!